Hi everyone, Mary Ayers from TapIntoAction.com and today we're going to be doing some tapping about the feeling of being in a slump. We know that feeling, right? That of just being in a slump, that feeling of being stuck where nothing quite lights you up and things don't really seem to be flowing. I call that some kind of a slump. Now, some people may say that they feel a little bit blue, a little bit down, I like to be able to kind of Hi everyone, Mary Ayers here from TapIntoAction.com and today we're going to be talking about feeling like you are in a slump. You know that feeling of stuck, nothing really seems to be moving, nothing really kind of lights you up and it doesn't feel like your things are flowing in your life within you, not just outside of you, but within you. There's that sense of things don't seem to be moving, certainly not moving smoothly. So if you're tapping here with me today, I imagine you know what I'm talking about and that you can relate. You know, slumps can range from anywhere from being really topic specific. So think about this. Is there something you're trying to create, but you don't feel inspired? or you can't even decide what to have for dinner. It's like nothing really lights, any, lights you up at all. And sometimes that kind of a slump can be a little bit more generalized. It can show up as not feeling particularly excited about something in your life right now, or the idea of even getting together with friends, even just to chat, doesn't feel enticing. There is a flatness as if nothing really exciting or it, it motivating you is happening in your life. And you can feel it coming from within you, almost as if, if something came up outside of you, you would still be just a little bit flat. You're missing that spark and you miss it because you know it used to be there. You know that it can be. It's just that we don't know where it is at the moment. So how is it showing up with, for you? When you can put your attention on it, okay, think about what that is for you and then put your attention on it. Where do you feel it in your body? Is it in your shoulders? Is it in your heart, in your chest, just in your head? Does it feel like a fuzziness, a dullness? Give it some qualities and then give it a number. What would you call it? Zero to 10. Maybe even write it down so that after you've done the tapping, you can come back and add any insights that you might have or new awarenesses that you got up in, from your tapping. Now, I'm going to be saying creative because that's where my slump is right now. It just feels like a creativity slump. Okay, but you feel free to substitute your own words. And Really the benefit of just even using, if you, know, if you were using the words from me, just following along, borrowed benefits will allow you to be able to work on your issue, even though you aren't holding it uh, out in front of you, because the subconscious mind knows exactly what you're talking about. So think about that, feel it in your body, and let's do some tapping, okay? On the karate chop. Even though I don't feel very creative right now, and I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. It just feels very flat. Very bland. And I accept the way I feel right now. Even though I don't feel creative. Nothing comes to mind, nothing new and exciting. And I miss that. I am really missing that part of me. And I acknowledge and accept myself right now. Even though for whatever reason, I am just not feeling creative right now. 
I don't know where it went. And I miss it. And there's a part of me that's sad about it. Because I wonder, will it ever come back? Will I ever feel it again? Or is it gone for good? And I know that might sound a little dramatic, but it's how I feel. And I'm going to acknowledge that. Because it's important for me to listen, to be heard, because I matter and my feelings matter. I don't feel very creative right now. I've been trying and trying and trying. But nothing seems to get stirred up. It's like I'm calling out and there's nobody home. There's an emptiness inside. A quiet space. But not in that good relaxing way. but in that deserted, lonely way. I don't feel creative right now. And I miss it. I miss that feeling of being alive. being excited and engaged where possibilities live. I miss feeling possibilities. It feels rather cold and lonely And I hear how bad that sounds. But I'm also acknowledging that feeling. Because on the flip side, it's telling me how much I want to feel alive. I want to feel engaged. Deep within me. Not just out on the surface. But within me. I know that feeling. I have definitely had it before. So I wonder what I can do to get a taste of that today. What small thing could I do that would bring a spark to my insides. What could I put my attention on? What could I listen to? What's a small step that I could begin?
Would I be ready to take that small step? Can I imagine how it will feel to let just a little bit of sun in? Can I give myself permission to enjoy that thing for just a little bit? Stay here with me right now. Just tap. I'm going to ask you, what came to mind? There's always an exception. There's always a time where you felt a little bit better. We're not reaching for great. I'm not reaching for inspired in this moment. I'm just talking about something that feels lighter right now. Because to be able to start to lift you up starts the process. It starts to activate different neurons, different parts of your body. So I just want you to stand tall for a second. Let your shoulders be pulled slightly back. Raise your chin just a little bit. Because our body and our mind and our emotions all are communicating. When we pull our body up, we are saying, I am ready to feel this way. I am standing in the position to lift myself up just a little bit more. I'm ready to feel lighter. I am ready to feel the edges of my mouth move up in the slightest smile. I'm willing to find a thought that can bring me some softness and joy. I'm willing to allow some creativity. I wonder what will show up. I'm ready to notice it. No matter how big or small it is, I'm ready to acknowledge it. And see it as a beginning of that spark. That life. Because I can fan the flames because they've never really died. They're just overshadowed right now. And I'm breathing life back into it. With readiness, with open arms, and welcoming back home. Take a breath. Feel it. A little bit more lightness, a little bit of possibility. Doesn't have to be big, it just has to be some. Can you fan that flame? What would you think about today? I've often laughed about this. I've told people before, said before my daughter ever had a puppy, now she just looks at her puppy and it lights her up. She used to come home and look at puppy pictures. It brought joy into her. We want the feeling of alive. That's when we're stuck. It's as if we're not really living. We can't feel the energy of life moving through us. And so there's so many ways that we just can get that little bit of light. We can listen to some music that we like. We can get colors that we like. Um, move, get out in nature. Just put your tennis shoes on and even if you sat in front of a screen and watched a nature video, okay, but you had your shoes on, there's a part of you that knows that you are striving for it. And what I really love is, is that I really believe that life wants us to feel what we're feeling and wants to bring more of it. And so as you reach out to bring more light into your life, 
life will bring more light to you. Our job is to notice it. I know that while I may not suddenly write a new book full of creativity, I feel more hopeful. And I hope you do too. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if, how this was helpful. And by all means, always feel free to you know, subscribe below and join my um, team and we will keep you informed with some different tappings that we're doing and we'll keep moving forward. And until then, stay brilliant.